Hey there, welcome back to Reddit Dating, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. Wife cheated no begging to come back. This is my first post, but have been lurking since it all went down. So this is all pretty fresh. Wife of five years been taught her 13 caught her cheating first week of May, found DM that painted the entire picture. Still burns just thinking about it. She started talking to this guy beginning of March, and towards the end of March is when I started to notice the change, social media selfies were extra, going out to the same club slash bar more and more, and this is where she met this guy. She would go with girlfriends and her mom and sisters, so at first I didn't think too much of it, but once she started coordinating going to this place, which is not like her at all I knew something was up. I walked randomly tried to check her phone, but it had a complex password act all the red flags. Anyways a week before I caught her eye, called her out on the rift between us, because I'm sure all of you have known how a cheater acts, and she said she thinks we need TP separate. Back Oz we are two different blah blah blah. So I agree and tell her if she wants to separate she needs to leave, and we agree that I will give her time to find a place since I have always been the provider. We do have an 11 old son, so she has chose not to work for a long time. Fast forward a week I find the DM and confront her through text. All she says is she is coming to get her stuff when I'm at work. So she moves in with her sister. No job, no money. We do agree that no matter what we would share 50-50 with our son. May 4th was the day I caught her. There was zero contact with her the first two weeks. Her own sister and mom were disgusted with her and trying to be a shoulder to lean on through the hell I was going through. I couldn't sleep, eat. I run my own company, so trying to hold it together has taken every ounce out of me to keep this moving. Knowing that she threw away everything for a guy at the club makes me sick, what she is putting our son through for her. Own selfish desires. I have not been a perfect husband by all mean but I have been a faithful provider for our family the entire time. And to rub salt in the wound she starts going on social media, posting lies that we have been separated for a long time and we are going through a divorce, and that she met someone else. But everyone close to me knows the truth. I did start the divorce process through mediation, because at least until now we agree on almost everything, but I'm sure that will change. After a month of hell and no contact, me just avoiding knowing anything about her and her new life, I started to pick myself back up and kind of look forward to the future at least for a few moments at a time. Then a week ago, she sends a half-apology text, first time admitting she was wrong, I ignored it and planned on not responding to anything that didn't have to do with our son or divorce. A few more the next day saying she wanted to talk and how sorry she was. Then the following day about 100 void texts and texts begging me to forgive her and take her back and how she was blinded and will do anything to make it right. Turns out she got a DUI a few nights before and I guess without me to hold her hand her world is crumbling around her now all of a sudden. I always believed him karma and that it walked catch up to her, but I seriously didn't expect it to happen this fast. And for a brief moment, I felt a small victory for once after the month I just went through, but that faded fast, and for the past week and small progress I made has started all over again. I'm staying strong but there us that little devil in the back of my mind, tempting me to see if she is willing to change. But trust me I know it's just a desperation attempt by her. This is ongoing now she keeps saying that she will show me that she can be a better person, but I was better off when she was just living her new best life. Sorry for the book and a terribly written one at that there are so many more details that make it even more up, but this is the summary, but thanks for anyone that reads. This sub has been a place where I don't feel alone. Just reread what I posted and wanted Row add a few more details when I found the DM she had been sleeping with this guy for at least three weeks before she asked for the separation, saying she was going to the store or to her sister's house when she was going to see him. I would take my son to practice and go to the gym kind of my routine after work, she would use the time to sneak around. And that's only what I know because SC in Instagram was how they communicated so God only knows how many other times she lied with SC messages that delete. And also when she first talked about separating slash divorce, she said she didn't want anything house act, just 5050 with our son. But the day before I found the DMS I reiterated the fact that we cannot live totter and be separated through text she blew up and told me that this was her home and would not leave and legal if anyone needed to leave it was me. Law guessed you read something on Instagram. Thank God I found her old phone the next day and was able to log into her social media because she uses the same password for everything. 
I could not imagine what kind of hell she would have put me through without me having concrete evidence. Just want to thank each and every one of you for all the words of encouragement and all the amazing advice, and taken back by how many people took time to read and comment. I def will post updates and try to reply to you all. Story 2 Wife cheated the whole time. I initially wrote under another name my wife knows and I didn't want her to stumble across anything so I erased it all and created a new account. Long story short, sorry enormous wall of words ahead please bear with me. She was having an emotional affair with a person who was meant to be my buddy throughout our marriage. When we met, she said I cheat and that she was killed by her father because he felt she was cheating. We were going to attempt to resolve things, but I had zero faith in her and recognized I was being tricked and didn't get the entire picture. She says she hasn't had hasn't seen it but I couldn't get over the fact that she kept talking to him because I believe he was a great man. Soon after I returned from hunting, my Facebook got hijacked and I clicked switch account in the messenger to see what it was. That's my account. Since I didn't know her password, I couldn't get into her account, so she had to. But there it was. I clicked it because I had doubts about her faithfulness. She has to be more adventurous in bringing him inside the home since I was gone for the weekend and she had it all to herself. We missed him. I told you I was ashamed of snooping. A pot vape, she said, was handed to her. Then I watched a video on her phone of her in the tub, blowing a kiss and winking before the camera moved back to her feet. That she sent to her closest friend to make her feel gorgeous. I felt embarrassed. I detest looking. I even checked her smart watch for messages after she reset her phone password. My buddy says wonderful view, want me to come over, etc. Later, her female companion asked if she wanted to be devoured. I woke WW up and asked a question. She arrived late one morning. I inquired if she wanted to eat. So she goes, so I repeat. What? No. Why? I responded, yeah, you did at 8.30 tonight, so I figured I could help you out. You'd sneeze at her. To which she denied, then admitted that she placed such messages on there knowing I would search for them. I told her she me in which case she was attempting to use my anxiety illness as a weapon. Anyway, you all reached out and supported me. Replying to your letters helped me relax for a few days. Then I began divorcing. Anxiety rose. Maybe knowing it was the end of over 15 years together. I'm doing well, and I'm beginning to care less about her. I stopped snooping. Since I had less concern knowing she was off all night while I was at work. Even though she erased everything, I had to check her watch when she left it out. When my anxiety became severe, I persuade myself it didn't matter that I was divorcing. Today was a disaster. I simply got a horrible feeling. I felt queasy all day due to my nervousness. Tonight after work I played games with co-workers to relax and distress. I couldn't stop looking at her watch after we went to bed. I became concentrated on the purpose of seeing. I couldn't help myself. I saw several communications from the girl that I don't think WW saw. If not, She'll find them and leave them for me to torture myself with. Her girlfriend said they agreed to be friends with benefits, and that until the divorce was finalized they may only smoke cannabis and perhaps other substances. Worse, she couldn't handle the added stress caused by WW pretending like they're in a relationship. She loves her, but WW is too demanding. I can't die. I never do that to my friends or family, but I'm tired. My non-anxious pal constantly urging me not to worry. I'm stumped. We can't get out of this mess financially. We have to share a home till it sells. I likewise struggle with self-worth. I'm seeing a therapist, but having on one hand in seven years as a third of five year male is depressing. Being informed she's not that attracted to me, then using post-cancer as an excuse not to, completely devastated how I felt inside. I know it's only been two months, and from what I've heard, it'll take years to feel normal after leaving her. I doubt I can do years. I'm not sure I'll trust a girl again. I'm sick. I can only sleep five hours. My family and friends keep me going at work, and my boss is one of my greatest friends, so I have a little freedom. Sorry for big text wall. Maybe at the top. Anyways, I'm just hoping you nice strangers can assist me again, since this is killing me. I told my friend she continues twisting the blades. And I keep looking so I simply give her more knives. Thank you for reading even if you don't comment. You don't have to like I'm not after karma. Let me end with this. Today, I had a shower idea that explains it all. She's a skank. She stated she felt like a piece of meat and a toy for years when she was younger. Therefore, she behaved like it. I believe she banged anyone she needed to get her way. 
She quit when she learned she could have her way without the first person was a small-time canvas dealer. She forgets why she was in his house. Well, I suppose it was too much like today with this girl. It appears in the final messages. Thank you.